Hi, my name's Mike. I coordinate the youth program here at Lifelong called HEO, Health Education Youth Outreach. On Monday, November 10th, we had our second Gender Fierce event of 2014. Gender Fierce is a queer youth variety show and dance party event that we put on. This was our third one in total. Um, but yeah, so the real point of the event is to get a lot of awesome people together and really promote an awesome sense of queer community love in our space. Um, particularly for, for queer young folks to have a space to come out and, and showcase talents and, and expertise and, and create this awesome environment where, where you know everyone in the space is accepted for who they are and, and who they want to be and, and to really just be able to go on stage and put everything out there and, and not feel like you're in a space of being judged or, or, or being uh, in a space where, where people are, are critiquing you, but to just feel like, yeah, I can do this, I can be on stage and I, I, can, I can show who I really am. We had some awesome talent though. We had our youngest performer was 13 in middle school, come out and do an awesome musical number, Miss Baltimore Crabs from the Hairspray musical, and just really busted it out. Did such an awesome job. It was really inspiring to see him come out. Um, then, you know, we kind of spanned the spectrum up to, to one of our older performers who's been doing drag, I think, for about seven years, um, and combined some really cool modern dance elements with, with a really uh, awesome drag performance, um, which was awesome to see. And then everywhere in between, we had some other drag performers, we had a spoken word artist do some really awesome spoken word. Um, but yeah, it was a really awesome event and, and the space that we created was super powerful. So that was my biggest takeaway from the event. Um, just the love from the audience and, and the ability to just get on stage and be who you are and, and, and showcase your talents was awesome. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing another one next year. I think it's gonna be around June, so stay tuned.